Hi there, welcome to C2's latest tutorial video. In today's tutorial we're going to look at creating a marketing list in Dynamics 365 and today we're demonstrating this on an out of the box free trial version of Dynamics 365 which is using the latest update, we're on version 9. Now in our previous video we looked at creating a new entity for our university called a course and in this video what we're going to do is create a marketing list based on contacts who have attended or have registered for a course. And we're going to look at how a marketing list can be built using the data that's held in Dynamics CRM. So to create a marketing list, you go into the marketing area and find your marketing lists. And at the moment, we don't have any set up. So first thing we do is click new to create a new list. We're going to give it a name. So we'll call this demo static list. And this is where we choose the list type. Now, this is very, very important. There are two different types of marketing list that can be created in Dynamics 365. The first one is a static list. And what that means is once the members have been added to a list, they will stay there until they are physically removed by a user or a workflow. And no new members can join the list until they are added either manually or through a process. But strictly speaking, for a static list, the member list will remain the same until other action is taken on the list itself. So we can target lists at either a list of accounts, a list of contacts or a list of leads. And in this case, we want to do it to a list of contacts because our students are in as contacts. I can, if I want, assign a source and a purpose and a cost to the marketing list. So to keep it simple, I'm just filling in the bare minimum details. Now, once I've saved my list, I can now start to add members to it. And there are two ways to do this. I can either go to the plus icon here to add members to the list, or I can click on the manage members button. Both do exactly the same thing. Now, the first option we get is to add members using a lookup. What that means is if we select that option, we get a list of contacts displayed in our system and we can select which ones to pick. You can also filter this down by certain views. So I only want to be able to see ones that are in my student contacts, so I'll select that option. So I can choose to add all users displayed on this page by clicking the top button there, or I can go through them individually selecting which ones I want to add. So hit select and hit add. Now the important thing here is, as I said, this is a static list. Alex Simmons will remain on this list until someone removes him and no one else can be added to the list without a user taking action or a process adding them. So that's how to build a static list using a lookup. I can also choose to add members using an advanced find. So let's choose that option. And what we can do here is we define the criteria that we want our contact to meet before they get added to the list. So let's say I want to see all contacts who have a contact type of student. I then click find and Dynamics will go and find every single one of the contacts that meet that criteria. There we are, it's displaying 15. I'll say I want to add these ones. In a static list, you also have the option of removing members of the list by using advanced find. So let's look at that. I want to remove anyone whose first name contains the letter E. Now I know that's not a real life example, but it'll show you the power of this system. Again, I can find them and choose which ones I want to delete. I'll remove all of them. So that's how you can interact with your members with a static list. It's very important you understand that a static list is called a static list because it remains static until someone takes some action on it. To show you the difference, let's look at creating a dynamic list. So I'll call this demo dynamic list. Again, that's aimed at contacts and I'll save it. And this time when we go to manage members, we don't get the option to add using a lookup. Members can only join this list if they meet criteria and they will remain members as long as they meet the criteria. I couldn't select to go in and remove one. So let's look at adding everyone who has a contact type of student. can 
hit find and it will display them. I can decide I want to use that query. Now, if, for example, Jose Reyes leaves the university and we remove the value of student from his contact type field, he will automatically drop off this list. If we any other contacts in the system are assigned as student who are not already, they will automatically join this list. Let's give an example of that. At the moment, you can see there are 15 members of that list. I'm going to go to my contact list see all the contacts there and I'm going to update everyone on page two to be a student so I'll say they're a student and now every one of those 44 records now meets that criteria so if we go back to our list and we look at the dynamic one there will be a lot more than 15 members. See, there are 54 now. And that's the difference between a static list and a dynamic list. If I go back and look at the static list now, it still has the three members who were on it before. Now, a very handy feature of Dynamics and marketing lists is if you have a dynamic list and you want to take a snapshot of it at a particular point in time, you can go to your dynamic list and click Copy to Static, and that creates a static copy of the list as it is at the moment. So if I do copy this one to Static, it will have 54 members, as we can see down here. If later on, Bob Smith and Dan Mann and Georgina Franks leave the university and they're no longer students, they would drop off the dynamic list, but they will remain on the snapshot. So, we'll copy that to static list, and you'll see what it does. Is it creates a copy, it makes a static list, and it gives it the same name as a dynamic list, and appends that with the date and time. So there we go, demo dynamic list, March the 21st at 2.44.18. Now I can change the name if I like, it's just a good, nice to know way of creating a snapshot of a dynamic list. So how do we use our lists? By having a marketing list, what we can do is create a campaign or a quick campaign that relates to it. So to show you an example of that, I'm going to create a quick campaign for all the members of this list. I hit plus and I get a nice handy wizard that guides me through the process. So I'm going to call this demo quick campaign and a quick campaign is a campaign that's made up of a type of activity so I can set up a list of phone calls to be made or a list of appointments or a list of letters to be sent or a list of emails to be sent in this example I'm going to choose email and then I can select who the owner of the activities is if I leave that as assign these activities to me Dynamics will send an email to everyone who's on the list and the email will look like it comes from me. If I change it to another user or team, it will come from them. And if I choose the owners of the records that are included in the quick campaign, what Dynamics does is it looks at, in this case, the contact, who is the owner of the record for that contact and sends the email from them. A good example of that would be if you were sending a campaign to a list of accounts. If you chose the owners of the records that are included in the quick campaign, each email will come from the account manager rather than from me who has set up the campaign. It's also important to note that when a campaign is created, it creates a list of activities to be done. It's important if you're doing emails, if you want the emails to be sent as part of the campaign and not have someone go in and manually send them, that you tick this option at the bottom. Mark email messages to be sent and close the corresponding email activities. So I'll click next and I have the choice of writing out my email. Thank you for enrolling on one of our courses. Now, doing it in this way sends all the users the same email, so there's no mail merge type fields in here. If you want to do that, you can use a template. So you click use a template up here and select which template you want to use. For more information on creating an email template, please do refer to our video tutorial on that. 
let's just say that's the name of the template i put it in there and then what dynamics will do is it'll take information from the contact record and populate that in the email so dear and it'll put the first name and thank you for registering on and it'll registering for our course and then you can put in the course title in this case i don't want to do that i just want the plain text so i'm just going to send it that way and now hit next it will give me a quick summary of what it is so here's the name of the quick campaign what type of activity is it what's the scope and who is the owner of the records if i click create there so we can see a record of our quick campaign here now clicking on it will let us see the details of the campaign please do bear in mind we're doing this on a, a free trial so we don't ha actually have this hooked up to an email router or exchange so the emails will fail we expect that in this case when we go in we can see there are the number of successes there are the number of failures there are the selected members and there are the people who were excluded for whatever reason you would also see a list of the activities here for the emails that had gone and if you click on the contact had the emails been working you would see that reflected on the contact wall as well so that shows you one how easy marketing lists are to set up the difference between a static list and a dynamic list and also how to use your marketing list to create a quick campaign which can go out to all your users or all your members of your marketing list so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that if you did please do give us a like if you'd like a free trial, please don't hesitate to get in touch or click on the link. And as ever, please do subscribe to our channels so you can keep up to date with the most recent videos released. Thank you.